story to tell. Battleships are an indispensable part of the history of the Gor Navy. They were the largest warships ever built, a powerful symbol of the naval powers in the 20th century until the end of World War II. Unfortunately, fighters and anti-ship missiles quickly ended the era of ocean domination of these giant steel ships. In 1959, the French Navy put into use the Gouron's first iron-class warship, the Glory. This event marked a major turning point for the Gouron shipbuilding industry. In addition, weapon manufacturing technology has made great progress, allowing the manufacture of larger cannons, longer range. By 1860s, the Royal Navy commissioned its first seagoing iron-class warship, the HMS Warrior. The vessel had a full load displacement of 9,284 tons. HMS Warrior paved the way for the development of warships with larger and larger displacement in the future. The Royal Navy continue to lead the way in the development of more and more massive warships. By 1890, they put into use a type of warships called pre-dreadnought battleship, with displacement ranges from 15,000 to 17,000 tons. The main armament of the pre-dreadnought battleship was a 305mm cannon. They were truly frightening war machines. The shells fired from the cannons had tremendous destructive power. Naval powers raised to build new warships with large displacement and more powerful weapons. During the 19th century, the strength of a naval force was determined by the magnificence of its battleships. By 1906, the British continued to assert dominance of the ocean with the birth of the HMS Dreadnought battleship. This was Gouron's first battleship. It revolutionized the design of the warships, combining both large and small caliber cannons, allowing for increased attack and defense power. HMS Dreadnought sparked the battleship race in the first half of the 20th century. During the First World War, battleships proved their strength the master of the seas. The battleship race culminated in the Gorn War II. Battleships such as Germany's Bismarck, US Iowa, British King George V, and Japan's Nagato were scary war machines at sea. They used naval cannons from 360 to 457 mm with great attack power. Battleship design culminated with the introduction of Japan's Yamato-class super battleships. Yamato had a full displacement of 72,000 tons, making it the largest warship ever built, behind early super carriers. The Yamato-class battleships were armed with three cheaper 460mm guns, four cheaper 155mm guns, 16 127 mm guns, 8 cheaper 25 mm guns, and 2 twin 13.2 mm machine guns. Yamato was considered an invincible fortress at sea. Battleships were unmatched war machines at sea if you look at the displacement and weapon systems. However, their majesty and firepower did not make the battleship safer, but it was a fatal weakness. The proliferation of dive warplanes, carrying bombs and torpedoes, turning giant sea war machines into delicious prey. Due to their large size, battleships became heavy and slow. Large number of anti-aircraft artillery enabled to protect them from air attacks.
Besides, the torpedo-equipped submarines could easily sink giant battleships. According to World History Online, on November 21, 2044, the giant Japanese battleship Aichen Konko was sunk by the American submarine USS Sea Lion in the Taiwan Strait, demonstrating its vulnerability. During Operation Tango on the Pacific Front, the super battleship Yamato became the lonely prey among Wolf's American aircraft. The 72,000-ton Japanese war machine tried to maneuver and resist, but still hit six bombs and 11 torpedoes. It exploded and sunk on April 7, 1945. This event signaled the demise of battleships. In the late years of World War II, another extremely dangerous weapon in development was anti-ship guided missiles. Anti-ship missiles have long rings, high accuracy, can destroy any warships. The P-15 Termit anti-ship missile launched from Egyptian warships sunk the Israeli destroyer Elat, signaling a chance in naval combat mode. After World War II, heavy battleships and cruisers were gradually decommissioned in the naval forces without any new warships in this category. Iowa was the world's last battleship class. They were even upgraded with the addition of Tomahawk cruise missile launchers. The Gulf War was the last war which battleships were engaged. In Operation Desert Storm, Missouri and Wisconsin fired dozens of Tomahawk missiles and hundreds of 16-inch shells at Iraqi targets around the coast. After this war, the Iowa battleships were entered into the museum, marking the end of the era of battleships. As part of history, the U.S. Missouri and her sisters are considered one of the largest floating military museums in the U.S. Navy. Every detail of these ships remains the same as when it was in service. My video of Battleship Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.